this one is 2.24 here we have a bolt which is threaded through a tubular sleeve so this one is the sleeve right here this one is your nut and this is your bolt okay in the beginning this is just tight by hand after that we are using a wrench here which is used to turn it further so that this bolt is going under tension and the sleeve is going under compression okay we can see the mechanism how it is working now the bolt has five threads per centimeter meaning when we make five turns it moves by one centimeter and we are giving it only a quarter turn so if if there are total five turns that are equals to one centimeter so your one quarter turn is going to be one quarter into one over five centimeter this is the movement your nut is going to have we need to estimate the tensile force in the bolt as well as the sleeve okay so basically if i say fs that's the force in the sleeve and f bolt that's the force in your bolt so let's try to understand the mechanism of this whole thing so if i draw this nut here separately you will see that this nut is in connection with both the bolt as well as your sleeve now when we are trying to move this nut inside here your sleeve is going to compression so this is going through compression here and because it is compressed it will try to apply a force in this direction on your nut so the force coming from your sleeve is going to be this way let's call this fs over 2 from here and s fs over 2 from bottom here now to keep this force in balance we need to have an equal and opposite force on this right from where that force is going to come now if you see this nut this nut is engaged with the bolt through these threads now that connection right there is going to have a force which is going to be in this direction coming from your bolt here i am just marking it on two contact points from the top and bottom here but in reality it's a 3d contact which is uh, throughout the periphery of the bolt now if this force on the nut is towards the left hand side and if i separate out your bolt right there now through these threads that are there on the bolt through this engagement there will be a equal and opposite force coming on the bolt this way so this is fb over 2 and fb over 2 so that's why your bolt is going to be under tension okay so that's the mechanism how this whole setup is working now from this free body diagram you can see the total force in the sleeve has to be equals to the total force in your bolt so that's the first condition we need to understand here now let's look at the deformation here so when you're trying to move this nut to the left hand side the deformation is going to be divided into two parts and those two parts is going to be compression happening in your sleeve and the tension that is happening in your bolt okay so you can imagine that whenever you are rotating this nut so that it moves to the left hand side there will be a force coming on your bolt in this manner so that it extends at the same time your sleeve is going to be under compression and the net result of these two is going to be how many turns you are giving to the nut so that it moves to the left hand side so if i do this your net delta is going to be depending on the sleeve force fs times the length of the sleeve divided by elastic modulus of sleeve and area of the sleeve similarly for the bolt your fb times length of the bolt divided by elastic modulus of the bolt and area of bolt now since the net deformation is 1 over 20 centimeter here i can move it to this side and both length for the bolt and the nut is 15 centimeter here and both of these are made of steel so their elastic modulus is going to be 205 gigapascals and from this equation we already know that fs value is going to be fb value so with this we can write down 1 over 20 centimeter equals to i'll just replace fs equals to fb in both equations and your length here is 
15 centimeter elastic modulus let's keep it as e for steel which is common now area for the sleeve is 4 centimeter square and since fs is equals to fb so this again becomes fs length is also 15 centimeter e is also same here but area in the bold case is 6 centimeter square right so from this you can see that only fs is appearing on the right hand side so this way we can solve for the value of fs and the value of fb and both of these values are 164 kilonewtons